Hello. Today we're going to be discussing how we can use the LF Audio wireless volume controller, the traditional single encoder knob, and the newly announced dual encoder knob to control multiple audio ch uh, channels using the traditional WVC or WVC Pro, as well as the recently announced WVC Lite and the six channel version, the WVC Lite 6. I'll talk about some of the different setup options, and I just wanna call out that every build is unique, so your setup might look quite different, but hopefully this video demonstrates and provides some ideas of how you can use one or more WVCs with a single or multi-encoder knob to be able to control multiple channels inside of your car up to 500 feet away from the vehicle itself. In our first example, we could see a radio sending the standard four channel output to an amplifier driving four speakers. So this would be your standard front left right, rear left right, and then your subwoofer channel can go through, let's say a WVC, WVC Pro, or even the WVC Lite, which then attenuates or gains a signal going into your subwoofer amplifier. And this is capable of driving up to two independent channels, so you might have left and right for subwoofer and you'd route both of those channels through the unit out into your subwoofer. So if we go this route, we can use the single remote. It has your standard feature functionality. So if you decide to go with the Pro, for instance, you would get additional information. You'd get the voltage on your bus. You'd get the temperature via the temp probe. You'd get oscilloscope, equalizer information, and clip detection on the RCA line, et cetera. So right now, a lot of people are running this exact setup, but let's go from here. What happens if we want to now be able to control not just the subwoofer volume remotely, but we want to be able to control the four channels as well uh, going out to, to the speakers? So we have a few options. Let's see what they are. Now, option number one would be to add an additional unit to the setup. So let's say we add a WVC Lite and we keep the Pro for the subwoofer amplifier. We can connect our existing WVC knob that we already have to the second unit, which is the WVC Lite. And now we could use a simple Y splitter strategy to go from the Lite into our standard four channel amplifier. This of course would only work if we're interested in only stereo. So we only want left and right channels and we don't want the separation between front and rear. That would give us a total of four channels we can control. So two channels go into the subwoofer and then two channels go into our, our mids and highs amplifier. In order to switch between the two units, we would create something called the channel group. So via the LF Audio software, we would say channels one and two from the WVC Pro are tied to channel group one, and channel one and two from the secondary unit are tied to channel group number two. We would simply press the top of the encoder on the WVC knob to swap between the two channel groups, which will allow us to independently control the volume on each. We can even create channel group one as a four channel, that way it acts as a master. So as we turn the volume up and down on that channel, all of the volume across the board go up and down. And then as we swap into channel group two, we have a relative gain or attenuation relative to master just for the subwoofer. So this means that if we want to change a subwoofer level in relation to master, we can, and then have the master drive that. So this is one option that we could go. Some folks may be okay with this, others may not. So let's look at a more complicated option. Option number two involves adding a DSP into the mix. So we get left and right out from our main uh, head unit, which we then use as master volume up and down. And then we have the DSP create the separation between our mids and our highs, and we create any delay that we need and crossovers, et cetera, for all of our mids. This allows us to have master volume control because most head units only put out two channels um, worth of data for most audio tracks anyways. So this gives us our master volume control via the main unit that we're running. And then we simply add our second unit to the subwoofer output of the DSP. 
this allows us to now have that relative volume relative to the master just for the subwoofer. And just like in the previous example, we sit, simply click the top of the knob to switch from the master channel volume group one, which controls the master volume across the board for all devices, into the secondary channel group, which allows us to only attenuate the signal for the amplifier. This is a little bit more complex, but now it gives us that, that full control and it allows us to add the active DSP into the mix, which will give us the, the fine tuning. Now, let's say we want a simpler solution for somebody that's getting started out. We simply go with the WBC Lite 6 channel version. This allows us to take our four channels from the head unit, as we discussed, front, rear, left, and right, and then our subwoofer channel. And we create channel group number one, which is all channels. So that's our master volume again. Or maybe we just say only four channels are channel group one. And then channel group two becomes our subwoofer. And once again, we could either independently drive them or we could have the subwoofer uh, be a relative volume level compared to the master, depending on how we set it up into, in the amplifier. This allows us to have a single unit that does the volume gain and attenuation, allows us to use our crossovers already built into the amplifiers without needing a DSP. Now, let's say that we want uh, a more advanced way to control our volume without having to click the top of the knob because we want faster access to being able to modify the volume. Maybe we're competing. Maybe we just prefer to have two separate knobs. A lot of folks are used to that. This is where we are introducing our a dual knob solution or dual encoder solution here. The dual encoder allows us to essentially tie one of the encoders to one channel group and the other encoder to the other channel group. So the first encoder, which is that, that left knob, allows us to, say, control the master volume, which is everything, including the subwoofer, going up and down as as you normally would expect to have on a radio. And then the second one we can tie directly to our subwoofer channel only. So this allows us once again to either control the subwoofer channel independently, regardless of where the master volume is, or it allows us to have it controlled relative to the master volume. This unit, of course, is going to be a little bit larger, have an additional screen, and allows us to display a little bit more data because we are expecting to be able to not only interface with the light versions of our products, but just as we had before, if you already have an existing WVC or WVC Pro that has a lot more data coming in, such as O-scope and clip detection and so on, we'll be able to display that on the screen. Once our high precision power meter comes out, you'll be able to also wirelessly connect that unit to the knob as well. Whether you have the single unit knob or the dual, you'll be able to wirelessly transmit the real-time amplifier wattage output, voltage output, impedance, amperage, etc. We've shown videos before on our YouTube channel. We have prototypes working for ruthless amplifiers and US amps amplifiers already. We're currently finalizing the circuit, but the idea is that the LF Audio RL Sync wireless mesh technology will allow you to plug and play to essentially an infinite number of devices to give you the full customization over your system. So whether you're running a simple stereo or even mono line that you want to attenuate or 12 channels and you're active through DSPs, you'll be able to connect as many LF Audio devices as you need to and have all of them send the data to the knob of your choice. And if you go with the dual encoder knob, you'll be able to, once again, not only tie one of the channel groups per knob, but we'll have the same functionality where if you click the top of the encoder, you'll be able to switch to another channel group. This will allow you to, in theory, create as many channel groups as you have channels. So let's say you have 12 channels and you want one click to be one channel group and you want to independently mute the volume or attenuate the volume on each one, there's no reason why you can't do that. It might not be practical, but the software will allow you to create the specific customization that you need. Thank you for watching.